Hey guys, thanks for uh, tuning in to another episode here of Real World Angling. I'm your host, Aaron Jeffrey. Uh, we are middle of January. It's the night before round one of the Saltwater Bass Series 2024 season. Um, I was on a bit of a hiatus, took a year off, at least, maybe two, don't remember, um, from tournament fishing just to take a break, step back. Um, really enjoyed being a part of the series and being a uh, assistant director and stuff, but just need to take a step back a little bit. Um, but this year I'm back. I have a new partner. Um, I was just going to fish the season by myself. Um, but, uh, you know, I have a partner who's going to fish a few events and I'll probably end up fishing two or three of the events solo. So really challenging. Um, there's some absolutely amazing teams that fish this series. There's some guys that are absolute bass fishing rock stars. Uh, when it comes to Southern California bass fishing, you've got guys like Scott Pettel, you've got names like Matt Kobzeff, um, Mike Lane, big, big time power fisherman, um, Bobby Martinez, a lot of these guys are fishing the series. So it's a fun series, really challenges uh, what you can do and you know pushes you to the limits. But it's the night before here, I got the boat hooked up, trucks full of gas. Um, Bag is full, everything is packed. I got my rods ready. Um, not gonna cover everything um, right now, but just a quick rundown. Got everything bundled up here. Um, you know, we've got spinner baits, got a single hook A rig, five arms, four arms, with three blades a piece, of 12 blades, and a trailing bait. Um, I've got my big giant seven inch flub, got an eight inch. Uh, MC slug on here for fishing deep. Um, I've got six and a half inch bait, and I've got the good old fashioned crankbait, and I've also got a 100 DD on here. Um, so, but again, I just want to do a, do a little intro real quick in case I forgot tomorrow morning. Um, leaving the house middle of the night, shotgun start at 5 a.m. Uh, Newport Harbor, you can stay inside the bay, weigh five spotties and get 2.25 times the weight. So if you weigh a 10 pound bag, that'll translate into 22 and a half pounds, which is very respectable, puts you in the money for sure. Um, and then uh, it's no coastal boundary, so no islands open this event, but you can fish as far north and as far south as you want. So uh, yeah, night before, gotta get some rest, but thanks for tuning in guys, I appreciate it. Check out the website, realworldangling.com, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, um, but yeah, stay tuned for some action guys. This is going to be an awesome event. I'm going to try and film all five events of the season. So for you guys that don't tournament fish or have thought about it or want to get into it, whatever, you can kind of see firsthand what goes on. So I think I'm the first guy to film the series. So stay tuned guys. My goal is just to catch uh, one, one, one in the bag and then, uh, Hey, I got a partner that wants to catch one legal. <laughs> one in the bag. I got a partner that wants to catch one legal fish. I'm glad I took a partner with killer instinct. I did my job. How could you? He caught one legal and then he hung out. <laughs> oh no, I ain't hanging out. I'm just saying. Oh shit, I'm a fucking fight. God damn it. I try and net everyone just that way. If you can club the club, don't wait for me to play this stuff. Could do for a dick so I can say like, hey bro, I use this shit during the, the, the fucking tournament. Tournament. You need some more. All right. I'll call my pro staff. <laughs> Oh, 
was 15.
bigger crank over the gas. It's only jerk bait because those fish are super aggressive. Guys, we just wrapped up. We're headed into the harbor. Uh, we yeah. put five yeah. in the boat. The last time I went, I put gas in it. I haven't gone since. I fished the harbor. And Matt, ain't your strong suit. Oh, hey, and then this morning I told him, I said, hey, I smell fucking gas. Well, I didn't think about it. <laughs> so we were going to be on time for weigh-in, but somebody ran out of gas. Somebody ran out of gas. But. We had good fishing, uh, spinnerbait fish, crankbait fish. This guy right here caught a bunch of our fish. We ran all the way to Long Beach and it was like 40 foot visibility. Water dropped four or five degrees from last week. So it was a change of game plan, unfortunately, but we fished hard, put a, put a bag together. So got our last fish within the last 10 minutes of leaving. So, but I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, I am, you guys. As you guys can see, I have it on Epic. I have it on Super View, so it's a wide angle. If you guys want to donate to his gas fund, let me know, and I'll link that in the description below. Uh, but other than that, we're gonna hit the weigh-in right now, or next week, whenever we can get in with towing him at three miles an hour. But yeah, we'll see you guys at the weigh-in. get double weight for karma for towing you guys got that without me yeah, I go big fish please what? big fish eight seven <laughs> two nine five ounces <laughs> <laughs> i want to see who's paying attention <laughs> Two five three. Ten five three. Slip or no slip? Huh? You're 
watch this. All right, let's take our waist lift here. Don't know that's showing up. Uh, we weighed 49.49, so 50 pounds for our best five, guys. <laughs> um, oh, sorry, I misread that. 9.49, 9.49, with a 253 big fish caught in the last 10 minutes of the day. But we had to work for it and grind it out but uh, happy we put together a limit and uh, it all counts towards championship points at the end to qualify for the championship. A top percentage of the uh, field makes the championship. So as long as you weigh a limit, you should, should be able to make it. So We are going to head to the back bay, put the boat on the trailer, go home, get her washed, start thinking about the next event uh, but thanks for tuning in guys click the subscribe button leave a comment leave a like because I know everybody likes me so much but uh, we'll see you guys next time